Elon Musk, who is worth a lot of money, just embarrassed NASA with his high-tech SpaceX suit. What makes this spacesuit stand out? Why is it better than NASA's spacesuit? What does this mean for the whole space business? Let's find out. In this video, we talk about the brand new spacesuit that Elon Musk made for space missions. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please click the bell button to subscribe to our channel and show your support before we begin. As important as making a spaceship is making the right spacesuit. You may already know Elon Musk as a smart businessman and a good scientist, but he's recently shown that he's also a great designer. Deep space is a vast ocean of empty space that is both hostile and dangerous. Have you ever wondered why the space crew team puts on those heavy gear before going out into space? You would understand better if you knew what the high altitude climbers went through. In the low temperature and pressure zone of the mountain peaks, people get headaches, feel sick, and even bleed from their noses. So what about the area hundreds of kilometers above sea level with no gravity? Why do astronauts even need to wear a spacesuit? Well, space is a zero gravity zone. Terrestrial beings like people can only stay alive in such a place if they have the right gear. Just 15 seconds in space is all it takes for a person to lose consciousness. Due to the effects of depressurization, the organs swell and the blood vessels burst, causing death right away. Second, as you get closer to the sun, the temperature in space gets very hot. The spacesuit is made with temperature controls that work well. It's been lined with 14 layers to ensure the temperature stays cool no matter what's going on on the outside. And not just temperature controls. The main layers protect against dangerous radiation. Deep space is completely open to cosmic radiation, while the surface of the Earth is protected from it by the atmosphere. Even small amounts of exposure can be very dangerous. That's why the tests and trials of spacesuits leave nothing to chance. Aside from that, space is full of micrometeorites, which are small pieces of space junk that can cause serious injuries. The two main types of spacesuits are the extravehicular activities, or the EVA, and the intravehicular activities, or the IVA. In this video, we'll talk about the second one since that's what SpaceX has been researching the most. But first, it's important to know the difference between the two main kinds of spacesuits. The name of the extravehicular activities, EVA, spacesuit tells us a lot about it. This suit was made to be worn outside of the spaceship. It has many layers inside to protect the astronauts from dangerous radiation from space. On the Apollo missions to the moon 53 years ago, astronauts used it for the first time to explore the surface of the moon. And the space crew team is currently training in this suit. IVA spacesuits, as the name says, the spacesuit is worn inside the spaceship. Astronauts use it when taking off, landing, or if something goes wrong. They make space boots very comfortable and easy to move around in. NASA's pumpkin suit, the Russian IVA, and SpaceX's brand new Starman suit are all examples of this type of spacesuit. NASA has used the pumpkin suit since 1994. The suit, which is also called an Advanced Crew Escape Suit, or ACES, was first tried out in 1965 by an astronaut named Ed White in a spacecraft called the Gemini 4, but it only started to be used in 1994. The ACES had many great features, many of which were made to help the crew stay alive in case something went wrong. When emergency sensors are shut off, the suit's parachute automatically opens. They have a backup way to breathe in case the air circulation in the spaceship suddenly stops working. They also have a system to keep the astronaut's body temperature comfortable and some headsets for talking. The astronauts say, though, that the gear isn't very fun to wear at first. They are heavy and stiff, so you really need to get ready before putting them on or taking them off. But these might be a thing of the past now since that SpaceX has something better. Since SpaceX started making its space rockets, it's completely changed how its astronauts dress. They have put time and money into making a cool spacesuit to go with the next generation of rockets that they're working on. And the result is a spacesuit that even NASA was surprised by. The suit has already passed two tests. The first one happened in 2018 when a dummy driver for a Tesla car rode on a Falcon Heavy rocket. The following year, 2019, there was another test. 
Demo-1 was the name of the crewless flight, and Ripley was the name of the dummy on the SpaceX's Crew Dragon rocket. Then, on May 30th, 2022, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, two American astronauts, left the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to go to the International Space Station. This was the first crewed mission on American soil in decades, and the first time SpaceX's Starman suit was used on a mission. NASA's pumpkin suits were the best way to go into space during these missions, and there are a lot of differences between the two spacesuits. The white color of the SpaceX's suit stands out against the orange of the Aces. The color are not just for looks, they're also very important in case of an emergency. As you may already know, the story of the space shuttle landing has both good and bad parts. Most of the time, the sea is the best place to land. If something goes wrong during the landing, the crew may be thrown out of the spaceship and land on parachutes on the ocean surface. Unlike the blue or dark ocean, orange and white are easy for the rescuer teams to spot. The second difference between NASA and SpaceX's spacesuits is how easy it is to put on and take off. This is what Harvey said at a press conference in 2020 after he got home safely. I bet we've put on and gotten out of those suits a couple of hundred times. Each astronaut's suit was made just for them. There was no standard shape or size, so it's easy to get in and out of them. But does that make a difference? You might be surprised to know that the IVA spacesuits are worn during launches, landings, and emergencies, but astronauts hadn't needed them for all this time. The rockets have been made so that they're comfortable for the people who will be on board. The spacecraft systems keep an eye on the temperature and the amount of oxygen in the air. Also, outside radiation that could be harmful can't get into the cockpit. The SpaceX spacesuit is very sleek and thin, which made many people wonder if it's safe. Many space fans were used to NASA's pumpkin suit, which had a rough mechanical look. When the delicate, sleek Starman suit came out, they were a little skeptical. So is this suit from SpaceX safe? Definitely. This is what Elon Musk said on Instagram to convince some people who don't believe it. It works for sure. It's fine to jump into a vacuum with it. The way people move is another important difference. NASA shared a picture of the two astronauts turning and Harvey stopping in the Starman suit as they were getting ready for a flight test. In the background, you could see the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket towers, which showed where they were going. In other words, the spacesuit is easy to move around in. In charge of SpaceX's equipment, Chris Trigg talked in a video posted to Twitter by SpaceX. It was important for the suit to be easy to use when it was being made. But the advanced crew escape suit aces are not like that. That thing just wasn't made to be walked in. It was only meant to be a backup when launching, landing, or in an emergency. Even though the SpaceX spacesuit was better in some ways, it didn't change any safety measures. And they have things in common with the tools used by the ACES, like the parachute, air, oxygen, and temperature controls. When the crew is in their seats on the flight deck, they plug into the seat's umbilicals. This helps the spacesuit's oxygen supply and keep the temperature stable. You might be wondering at this point, who made SpaceX's suit? Interestingly, Musk made the suit himself. He then looked for a good designer to do the work. Jose Fernandez, a famous designer in Hollywood, is the one he chose. Jose is well known for his amazing designs and he did the costumes in movies like Batman vs Superman and Captain America. He worked hard and skillfully and the Starman suit was brand new when he was done. NASA had been embarrassed by Elon Musk and SpaceX's suit. But it's exactly what astronauts should wear when they go on to the International Space Station, Earth's orbit, the Moon, or even Mars in the near future. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.